We're gonna be inflating this uh, Mylar balloon and sometimes you are gonna get like a, a straw type of um, instrument to inflate these. And what you wanna do is right here where it says um, self heal valve, there's a little lip. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little lip of, I'm gonna try to pick it up with the, see, okay, so here I grab the lip of the, and then I'm gonna push through, and then it just kind of pokes through. From here, you can go ahead and inflate this with your mouth, but this is gonna take forever. So I don't use this, but I wanted to show you how to get the, um, the little opening here. So what I'm gonna do is instead grab a balloon pump and right in the same place where I inserted that, it's kind of like a little lip. Um, sometimes it's more down here in the middle. Sometimes it's, see, is, this one is very small. Okay, so you wanna just make sure you put it under that lip. All right, and then I'm gonna hold this down and then I'm going to begin pumping. And sometimes it takes, you can see there's kind of like a little strip under there and you gotta keep pushing until it pops. You hear that pop? Okay, so that pop, now you're getting air into the uh, balloon. So we are gonna pump this all the way through. And you don't wanna use an electric pump because they're a little bit too strong and they will um, pop. This balloon will pop. Um, you can also inflate these with um, helium, but you wanna use a nozzle that is very controllable and that you can, um, meaning you can control the air that's coming out very slowly so that you can stop at any time. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going to stop inflating about right there just to show you. So when the creases are still kind of moving, um, this you can still add more. Um, so I'm going to do a couple pumps. Go slow here. So one, two pumps. It's, they're still moving quite a bit, so I'm going to add a couple more. One, two. I'm going to stop right there just to test. You don't want to over inflate these or else they're going to pop. So. See, that's a little bit soft, but if you're gonna be installing these outdoors, you wanna under inflate just a tiny bit like this. You can probably do a couple more pumps on this if it's gonna be indoors, but um, this is gonna be outdoors for me, so I'm gonna leave it right here. Um, you wanna let a little bit of air for the expansion with the sun. And if you wanna do a little bit less too, it doesn't hurt, um, less is more. And what I'm gonna do is put a few glue dots here um, and uh, adhere to my balloons this way, just like this. Or you can also put uh, 260 and do it this way, but my arch is gonna be hanging this way and I can't go over here. I'm gonna have to adhere across. So um, glue dots is the best way to do that. Otherwise, what you wanna do, if you're gonna be installing this on a column, is grabbing a 260 balloon, which I have. A bunch of sitting around or you can also do it with a uh, rubber band so you want to grab it here and then start wrapping this little lip all the way around okay and then from here you can use this as a bracelet but the best way to do it is to go ahead and tie it there and then use it as a bracelet and adhere to one of your balloons Otherwise, um, if you leave it loose and you pull this, it's just gonna go undone. So you have to do uh, a knot, some kind of a knot. And that's it, that's how you inflate uh, mylar balloons.